Last Epoch 1.0 patch notes are officially out. And we are less than 48 hours from 11th hour games and last epoch officially leaving early access to full release mode. What can we expect from 1.0? Two new masteries, the Falconer and the Warlock. The Falconer and the Warlock. The Falconer emerges as the third mastery for the Rogue, showcasing an impressive command of tactical traps and deadly falconry. With her fierce avian companion, she weaves through the battlefield with quick wits and unscrupulous tactics, forging an unbreakable bond with her falcon ally through the falconry skill. Initiating falcon strikes and deploying skills like dive bomb and aerial assault, the falconer brings tactical chaos to the battlefield, leaving her enemies unsure of what they should fear next, the talon or the blade. Along with the new class come some exciting new unique items that empower new playstyles if you're lucky enough to find them. Today, I want to show off Falcon Fists. This rare unique lets you dive all in on empowering your Falcon's attacks while turning your melee hits into an explosive Falcon Punch. Finally, stepping out of the darkness is the long-awaited Warlock, a new class mastery for the Acolyte set on tearing into the essence of her foes, twisting and corrupting their spirits. The Warlock wields an arsenal of new curses, each uniquely designed to dim the mind, break the body, and inflict pain. Rain down chaos bolts, feast on the souls of your enemies, and break open the ground, unleashing destructive necrotic energy and unyielding undead husks. What warlock is complete without an arsenal of unique items to curse and corrupt their foes? One such treasure is quite literally the spine of your enemies, turning your chthonic fissure into a set of rapidly striking flame whips. The new item faction system. Earlier this year, we released information on our much anticipated item factions system and we are excited to see players get to experience this for the very first time with this release. Will you choose to align with the Merchant's Guild and gain access to the bustling bazaar and an economy of travelers and trade, all collectively bargaining and hunting for the best items Atera has to offer? Or will you join the Circle of Fortune, set your sights to the stars, and increase your chances of finding the ultimate weapons and armor through prophecy? Either way you choose to hunt for incredible items in Last Epoch, you won't have to worry about your friends losing out on the perfect upgrade that happens to drop for them while they're away. With a new resonance system, you will have a chance to gain resonance with your friends who you fight alongside. Using a resonance will allow you to gift items directly to your friends, but be sure to be picky as resonances are powerful resources. New features and new skills. The Primalist is adding two new powerful skills to his arsenal. Gathering Storm, which calls down bolts of lightnings upon the enemies around you, and a redesigned Tempest Strike, which wields the power of wind, frost, and thunder, with all three elements coming to bear at the tip of your weapon. The Paladin is receiving a powerful new skill tree to complete his divine arsenal. In addition to erupting Holy Judgment and protecting allies with auras and sigils, the Paladin will harness the power of Healing Hands, a skill capable of keeping allies alive as well as burning the evil out from the enemies of Atera, especially the undead and void abominations. We continue to improve, update, and strengthen every mastery in Atera. Countless skills have been rebalanced and modified. Visual Upgrades I'm excited to share with you the immense amount of visual and gameplay feel improvements coming with the full release of Last Epoch. For 1.0, we have overhauled and updated all of our character rigs and every single character animation in the game. This means that characters move more dynamically, their attack animations feel more impactful, and individual character identities and movements are able to shine through. You will also notice interface enhancements everywhere you look. We've taken a lot of time to improve the user interface visuals and provide better information across the game. We've made big updates to lighting and shadows, with new tech that will be immediately noticeable to all returning Last Epoch players and tremendously improves the overall visual quality of the game. Scene Variant System Additionally, we've added Scene Variants, which introduces random weather, season, and vegetation visuals throughout the echoes of the monolith. 1.0 will have enemy changes with it. We're also bringing many new and updated enemies to the world of Atera that you will find all throughout the game, including in many campaign zones that have had significant updates. You'll notice wolves, bears, saber-tooths, and more have been updated. And of course, for you Primeless players, your companions are no exception. Improvements to the mechanics of the game. For combat, we've made many improvements in addition to animation updates, 
including improved damage numbers that react to the direction of impact, increased hit sounds in the audio mix, brought back screen shake settings, and increased the visual weight of some hit effects. This has combat feeling better than ever. We've added a significant amount of new 2D and 3D visuals for character gear and items, including new item tooltips that truly showcase the outstanding loot in Atera. 1.0 will bring new uniques and new set item changes. Our full release is also bringing a staggering amount of balance updates, new unique items, new item affixes, new item bases, and much, much more. If you'd like to learn everything that is coming in Last Epoch 1.0, please visit our patch notes on the forum. 1.0 will also bring skill and passive changes. For those of you who are brand new, Last Epoch is a loot-based, top-down action RPG where you will travel through time in a desperate attempt to save the fated world of Atera. Along your journey, you will choose to ascend into one of 15 different mastery classes, each with unique skills, passives, and playstyles, as you take on divine gods, immortal empires, and the all-devouring void. In Last Epoch, you'll find over 125 class skills, each with its own customizable and transformative skill tree. You'll find a deep loot system with over 300 unique items, each with its own build-defining power you won't find anywhere else, powerful idols that fit strategically into your inventory, and our renowned legendary system, which can take even the most unassuming uniques and turn them into the most powerful items in the game. You'll need all of that power at your disposal when you enter our expansive endgame that includes ancient dungeons, an endless ranked arena of champions, and shattered timelines in the monolith of fate. If you're new to the world of Last Epoch, you've picked the perfect time to jump in. We've made sure that Last Epoch is a game that you can dive into without any prior information. But if you're looking for help, there are a ton of great starter guides made by our awesome community of content creators who have put in a lot of effort into providing entertaining and informative content for Last Epoch fans. There's also an in-game guide that provides you all the information you need to go from a beginner to having an advanced understanding of the game. Wow, what an update. I will include the full patch notes of 1.0 in the video description. So there will be a link to the full patch notes so you can go and dive deep into everything i just wanted to do a quick video on uh, summarizing the uh, patch notes and i have to say unbelievable my takeaways from this video and from the patch notes of course major applause for the balance updates the class changes the changes to the mechanics of the game but really if i were to summarize what like my takeaway from this is the fact that one of the major knocks against the last epoch is graphically it needed to be enhanced and if you look at this video that i shared with you in this video from the developers and uh, on 1.0 patch um, you can see when they that the game has been enhanced graphically very, very pleased about that. I know a lot of people will be pleased about that because that's one of the biggest knocks against this game. So the fact that they're addressing that head on and the game looked really good on that video, let's hope it translates throughout in 1.0. I'm really excited about that. Now, for those of you that are interested, I will be playing Last Epoch 1.0 on release day, February 21st. I stream every evening. Come and join me. And I'm going to be embarking on my first hardcore playthrough on Last Epoch 1.0. It's going to be a doozer. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm super excited about it. Really excited about not only the challenge, but also learning more about last epoch i hope that i can sink my teeth into this game and play it for many 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 years uh, this will be the first cycle in 1.0 so we're going to give it a go everybody's going to be starting from scratch so it's going to be super exciting so come and join me i stream on youtube and twitch sammy caps both channels are named sammy caps so come and join me on the hardcore journey of last epoch 1.0 it's going to be a doozer anyway the big question is are you ready the opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine healthy debate is always encouraged hate is never welcomed so get over it